In this study, parents bring their six-month-olds into the lab. At the other side of a long table is a hill stage. A red circle guy with googly eyes tries to climb the hill. He sort of goes up the hill and then falls back down. He always fails at it. And then a blue square character, also with googly eyes, comes from the bottom of the hill and bumps him up to the top of the hill so that he's successful. On different trials, the climber tries again to get to the top of the hill, and then a yellow triangle character comes down from the top and bumps him to the bottom of the hill, so prevents him from getting his goal. Babies see this a number of times until they get nice and bored with it. So we stop and basically do a um, choice measure. The moms are asked to close their eyes. An experimenter who did not see um, which character was which brings over the two characters to the babies and just sees which character the baby touches first. Which one do you want? We found that, impressively actually, almost 100% of babies preferred the more positive character. What do you want? Okay. They seem to have an attraction to helpful pro-social individuals and also a real aversion to antisocial unhelpful individuals. This experiment demonstrates how 19-month-old Sarah can distinguish a good puppet from a bad one. We have a puppet who's trying to open a box. He sees a nice toy inside of it and it's a plexiglass, you know, box that he's just trying to open. He can't lift that lid. Uh, then another puppet comes along and helps him open the lid so that he can get to the toy inside. So that's the helpful puppet. Next, he's again trying to open up the box, and a different puppet comes along and jumps on top of the box lid, slamming it shut and dashing his hopes of getting in there. Sarah watches the show several times. <laughs> Afterwards, she'll have to choose which puppet to take a treat away from and to give to a new stuffed animal. Toddlers are pretty clear in their choice. They will take the treat from the cad who was rude enough to slam the lid shut on the puppet. That one? Good job! Addison is just three months old. In another experiment, she watches Stripe Puppet play ball with Green Shirt Puppet. When they're done, Green Shirt returns the ball. But when Stripe Puppet plays with Red Shirt, Red just takes the ball. After the show, Addison spends more time paying attention to the good puppet. Thank you. 